again packed to capacity with an expectant crowd eager to see the West Indies wrap up the series. For the third successive match, not surprisingly, the home side remain unchanged. Pakistan, though, they have to replace the injured Miandad with Asif Mujtaba, while left armer Nadim Khan comes in for leg spinner Mushtaq Ahmed. The West Indies skipper Richie Richardson again winning the toss and batting. And in fact, that's a hat trick for Richardson. He's won the toss three times in three matches. We pick it up in the second over with Wakar bowling to Haynes, just two runs on the board. Well, it was uppish, but just past the fielder, backward short leg. It's not wise to bowl at Desmond Haynes' pads. He's so strong. Well, it was a nice, juicy, medium pace delivery, swinging into the pads, just took it away. You might say it was half a chance of a catch, but... Uh... As he pushed up the fielder there, and it's no backing up. Four overthrows, and that really is a criminal waste by Pakistan. Now that is the sort of sloppy, awful feeling that really does demoralise the team and particularly the bowler. The bowler will feel his heart in his boots at that. It's just a little tickle around the corner there. The fielder run round, whacks it in. Two men backing up and two of them missed it. We can't quite see it in our picture there, but two of them. They want the bottoms kick for missing that. Oh, that's a nice stroke by Desmond. It's going away for four. And there's the first conch shell of the morning, celebrating a very good stroke. Oh, that could be out. Atur Rahman thinks it is, but umpire Cumberbatch says no, it kept low. 23 for no wicket. Well, what is sure about that delivery is that it hit Brian Lara in front of the stumps. We'll just have to see if it pitched outside leg stump. Well, that certainly hit him in front. We did the ball pitch outside the line of the leg stump. That's the question that has got to be answered. Oh, that's not a good ball, but what a fine stroke. Nazia Talara. And there's Bill for a catch behind. He's out. He's gone. Lara got a nick, and so Nazia has got the wicket that the Pakistanis wanted the most, Lara has gone. Well, Lara having a few words with the Pakistanis as he goes by. But that ball down the leg side, apparently just getting a faint tick or so to make it keeper, Rashid Latif. Rashid Latif does the rest. Well, that's a glorious shot. Lovely way to get off the mark with those ones. Well, that's a gift to Desmond Haynes. So strong off the legs. His first boundary was off Waka Yunus in that area. And now he puts Amir Nazir away for four. Well, it's gone through the keeper very difficult ball for Rashid Latif to have saved outside edge thin outside edge in fact it looked more like a bottom edge in the end and that brings up the West Indies 50 well that's well played that's a fine sweep shot by Phil Simmons four runs Nadim Khan with the first ball of over number 16. And strain down the leg side, he's put away by Haynes. The second time he's been swept for four. Swept by Phil Simmons in the previous over for four. And now he goes for another one. 
Yes, I think that's that's Haynes' strength. Now we see it, a powerful sweep by Haynes, and it's into the gap for four runs. He does play that stroke well. Haynes needing two for that 50. And is that going to be it? I think it may be. Yes, it's gone. It's been fielded, but at second attempt, and Haynes' 50 has arrived. So his first 50 in this one-day series. That again, very well run by Desmond Haynes. And an overthrow. The bowler was, I think, a little bit hampered when Simmons ran almost into him, but no one was backing up. That really is clumsy cricket. The 100 has come up in 164 uh, balls. 102 now for one. There's a catch, Haynes gone, and Amir Nazir, who has this remarkable habit of picking up valuable wickets, does so once more. Short ball, and Haynes picked up the fielder, a deep backward square leg. Well, Amir Nazir certainly has a very good strike rate. He can be a bit expensive, but he gets the wickets. Desmond Haynes caught on the deep backward square leg boundary. 116 for two, the West Indies in the 30th over. Gone through the field that slip. Very difficult take for Amir Sohail. Got it just on the ankle. Yeah, it was a an awkward bounce, uh, Tony, but I still feel he, he, I think he got up too early. He should have stayed down a bit. Well, that's an extraordinary stroke. An absolutely extraordinary stroke by Richie Richardson. Yes, I've never quite seen a stroke like that in my playing days. Uh, it, I think Tony, it went off his glove. I mean, he punched it, literally, he punched it with his glove for four runs. Yeah. yeah it, it went off his right glove. And it went like a rocket to the mid-off boundary. Well, that's a delicate stroke by Richardson. Well, if the other one was extremely unorthodox and very awkward, that was an exquisite stroke. Oh, just an inch away and a slack bit of backing up and this one will produce more overthrows for the West Indies. So things just going wrong for the moment for Pakistan after the dismissal of Desmond Haynes. He's got it through, and that's four more. Things not going at all well for the Pakistanis, as Richie Richardson and the West Indies pile on the pressure. Crashing yeah. cover drive. This is Richie Richardson at his best here. That's his 7-4. And he's really steamed on to 41. But this wasn't a bad ball, but he's hit it on the up and hit it so hard that Inzamam, not 10 yards away, couldn't stop the ball. Just look at that. And he's greeted with a sweep, more of a pull sweep by Richardson through square leg for four, drifting down the leg side. That was Nadim Khan's main drawback. And Richardson just bending the knee and helping it through square leg.
Enzimam takes the catch. Richardson goes. A high swirling, but in the end, comfortable catch to Enzimam. But what an innings from Richardson. It's put the pressure right back on Pakistan. He goes for 46 to West Indies captain. 182 for three. Yeah, well, Pakistan needed that badly because had Richardson stayed a little longer, the game would have been out of Pakistan's reach. And that was a great innings by him. 183 for three. Oh my goodness, Simmons making room for himself there, and that one <laughs> could so easily have come in and bowled him. But his eye helped him out. Good one. Go. Well, <laughs> four more. It doesn't matter how they come, as long as they come. Waka Yunus has not had the luck today. Well, there's not a lot you can do about this. It's a well pitched up ball. Simmons makes room, slashes at it over cover, but it flies very fine fine of the third man past the wicket keeper where the slips would have been there's no way you can set fields for that and uh, another desperate piece of fielding the ball going straight through there Ramiz Raja for four runs Wazim to Simmons <laughs> well, it doesn't matter how they come, as long as they come. But Pakistan don't deserve any luck at all, and they're not getting it. Well, the sad thing is that they're in danger of losing their cool altogether. That's an attempted Yorker that becomes a low full toss. Waka. Waka starting a new over to Hooper, who drives through the covers for four. And really, the wheels have fallen off this Pakistan vehicle at the moment. Richie Richardson was the principal reason, but now bad fielding combined with good batting from Hooper and Simmons. Runs coming again at torrential rate. That, is that out? No, says umpire Butler, who is in the right position. It was Nadim Khan with the throw. But Hooper apparently had that under control. Well, the youngster got in there, took aim. Lovely throw. And I think he's out, isn't he? Isn't he just out? Wazim Akram starting his 10th over to Hooper. Take that, that was a tremendous stroke, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, there you see when a bowler of Wazim Akram's class he starts being hit back over his head like that, what can you say? I say that instead of bowling length balls, which this is a nice length ball, gives Hoop a chance to play an emphatic shot right over the bowler's head, that you might as well bowl or try to bowl six Yorkers per over now we go again four more it's gone over the top it's six Hooper making a bit of room for himself what a stroke well this is superb effortless timing when you see a shot like that from Hooper you wonder how sometimes he can bat so sleepily. Wakar Yunus starting his 10th over. It's gone away from... No, I was going to say four runs. In fact, just the couple. Leg buys, I suppose, which is some consolation for Wakar. Wazim Akram just finished his 10 overs. He had none for 62. And before this over began, Yunis none for 42 in nine. So if Yunis and Wazim Akram go for over 100 between them, 
it, one wonders what chance the others have got. The last 50, incidentally, has come in just 27 balls. We think the score's 250 for three. The scoreboard has 249 for three. And this is in the air. He could be out, caught by Roman. He is at long off. And so Hooper has gone. Carl Hooper here doing exactly what was required, trying to score off every ball, trying for the boundaries, and they're going to lose their wickets. A nice simple catch. Waka with three balls of the over left to Simmons. In the marble hat, trusty boot. The three runs, even so. Well, <laughs> that's four runs, and that was a fairly original stroke, making Rome and slicing it over Gully. And Simmons is going into lunch anyway. So that is the end of an extraordinary innings. And the crowd really can't believe their luck. They've seen a fantastic stroke display.